Hello and welcome to another yearbook tutorial on InDesign. Specifically today we are going to be dealing with color schemes. So why don't you go ahead and open up your browser. The website we use in yearbook for the color schemes is called Cooler, K-U-L-E-R. So you just want to search that. It just go, comes right up. Um, CoolerAdobe.com, that's, that's what we want, so we click on that. In order to use this website to the full extent, you really need to register, so make sure you do that. It takes two minutes, it's really simple, it's right up here, register. Once you've done that, sign in. Go. So. Uh, this is what appears when you first sign in. What you want to do is you want to create color schemes or swatches. What happens is you it gives you two options. You can create from a color or from an image. I will show you how to create from an image first of all. So when you click create from an image a flower comes up but I mean you can use your own image so you click upload. And this is really helpful when you have a element or a photograph you want to use in your yearbook spread and you want to use the colors that appear in that photograph so you can select that uh, I'm gonna select a screenshot open so that appears and initially when you upload a photo it cooler gives you a color scheme they think you would like but you can of course change that by dragging these little circles wherever you want so I don't like this yellow, so I'm going to drag it to make it blue, for example. So this is the color scheme that I'm happy with. And I can save this color scheme, so I click here and I am going to name this color scheme Be Nice or Leave Sign. You can include tags in this, whatever you want to uh, help you find it after. but you really don't have to, it really doesn't matter. So you can make this color scheme public for other people to uh, search or private so only you can see it. It really doesn't matter. I prefer to just leave it public. You never know who might want to use it. So you click save and it saves and it um, transports you to my cooler. You were initially here, create, and it, go it went to my cooler. And it shows you all the color schemes you have already created. Here's just the one we just just did. So now I'm going to show you how to create a color scheme from a color. So you click on create again from a color. And you are all familiar with this circle right here. What it, what Cooler gives you is it gives you a couple of options. Uh, they're right here. Analogous, monochromatic, triad, complementary, and so on. So uh, when you click analogous it gives you these options. and the way you use this is you just move the circles around. You just click on it and you drag. Um, monochromatic, it, it really gives you different options. Here, triad gives you three. Complementary are the opposite. Compound. Shades. And custom is when you make your own. So what you do is you just, you just drag those circles wherever you want them. And what's really helpful is if you don't want to have five colors, you can remove a color. If you if you hover over a color, you just click remove color. You can add it back. Also, uh, Cooler is great because you can set a base color. You can see this is your base color. It says right here. So again, if you want to change the base color, you hover over a color. Let's see this uh, dark red brown, and you click set as base. So that's your base color now, and it becomes the thing the color that which the others um, the other colors uh, um, basically when you when you when you use those options it's 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 the base color of course you've got other options right here you can change so I like this color right here this color scheme um, so once you're happy with it you again title it so let's say gum Again, I want to make it public, save, and it transports me to my cooler. Of course, you don't have to create your own theme. You can search other people's themes. And the way you do that is you click on themes, and you put in a keyword, like, for example, the C. 
and you click this button to search and it gives you uh, color schemes other people have created so I really like this one the shades of the sea so what happens is once I have chosen or created my color scheme that I want to use I want to download it so it gives me the options right here it gives me add to favorites download this theme or make changes to this theme and view color values it gives me one more option in my cooler where you can just trash you can just trash your uh, color scheme so what we want is we wanna we wanna download our color scheme so let's click on that download and you save it to your desktop and that's basically it for cooler so now you go to your color scheme and it's right here it's an ASE file and you really need to open this up in InDesign to be able to use it so you go to InDesign I already have my document opened up and you want to load these color schemes or swatches into the program so what you do is you go up here to swatches and you click swatches and these are the color schemes that are already loaded in to InDesign but I want to load my own so I have to click and I have to go up here to this little box and it gives me a bunch of different options and what I want is I want to load swatches so I click on that and it pulls up a window and then you choose the file you um, you just download it. So I want gum, ASE, open, and my color schemes have now been added. These five. One, two, three, four, five. But the problem is that these color schemes do not come in the CMYK mode. To explain, there are two modes we use, RGB and CMYK. The way you recognize them is you see these little boxes the ones with three colors are RGB and the ones with four colors up here are CMYK. So what you need to do is you need to go into each color, double click on the box and change the color mode to CMYK. It's really simple. So you go in and you change all of them. If you don't do this, it really becomes a problem if you've used those color schemes into in your shapes. And uh, the company we're using really prefers CMYK. So make sure you're in CMYK mode just changed all of them right here so these now have become your colors so you can use them for anything uh, shapes which I will show you in a different tutorial so you just create a shape and you can select these colors you can actually select them right up here okay once you click on this button and you and you can select them you just click on it and that's your color scheme it's the color you created um, you can also load these into Photoshop if you use Photoshop. They're really simple. It's the same principle. You click on swatches, uh, more options, and you load swatches. So that's basically it. Thank you for um, listening.